guys, this is Scott Leroy, Scott Leroy Marketing, coming in for another weekly tip. All right, so today's tip is going to be on KDB Command, and it's going to be about some of the new settings that you'll have on here. So once you log into agent.kdb.com and you're accessing command, at the top right, you're going to see your name and potentially your initials, maybe even a headshot. All right, once we click on that, we're going to have three items on here. All right, profile, settings, and logout. So the profile section is going to be your KDB Connect profile, as you can see on here. All right, so it's going to pull up with your bio. It's going to pull up with some information you have on the back end, all right, your service areas, and then you can even click on the edit profile option up here at the top right to edit this even further. All right, now if we come up here and we click on the name once again and go to settings, though, all right, this is where we can actually go through and tweak some of our different settings. So the first thing that's going to pop up are your connected applications. All right, so if you want to go through and you want to add inside some new social applications, all right, because very soon it looks like you're going to have the option to actually manage all of your Facebook and Twitter posting back here, kind of similar to what you do over on like Buffer or Hootsuite. All right, so you can actually click the connect account option over here to sign in and link that up. All right, same with productivity tools, whether you want to sync up Google Calendar, Office 365. Obviously, if you happen to have a Twilio account or PySync account, you can add that in too. All right, or of course on here under marketing automation, you can link up Twitter, Google AdWords, and I already have a couple up here like our Facebook ads, Gmail, MailChimp, and even eEdge on here too. All right, so that way you can just auto sync those contacts or items to link up immediately. Now in addition to that, you can also access the archive on here. These are all different contacts that you may have added in that you need to delete. All right, so whenever you delete a contact, it'll first archive them and then you can completely delete them. All right, so it'll show you when it was actually archived at what time. All right, and then you can just literally click on this to then say delete, well, I guess delete all permanently, even though it's one. All right, so then it'll take that out immediately. All right, you can even check out opportunity settings on here. All right, so choose the sketch house template you'd like to use to send offers to your clients and co-brokers. All right, so if we click on the drop down on here, once again, these will come up with our sketch house templates. All right, currently, I don't have any on the back over here. The only one that's really available is that market snapshot template. All right, and that's coming from the landing pages on there. All right, you can also add inside custom fields on here. All right, so if you want to add inside additional fields over to your database, all right, or your contact section, you're definitely more than welcome to. All right, so all you have to do is click the create new custom field option up here. You can add inside whatever field name you want to, test field name. All right, then we can even add inside the custom field type, whether it's going to be field, an area, a drop down, a checkbox, number, URL, percentage, or even currency on here. So I'll say it's a field, and then I can even make the default custom field. All right, so I'll click Create, and that'll add that in immediately for me. You can even add inside custom tags. All right, some of these tags will automatically pop up on here. Looks like it's still loading. All right, but then you can even add inside additional tags. So very similar to groups that you had previously on eEdge, this will be almost identical to it. All right, so this is just another way that you can actually search for your contacts and kind of filter them out. So all you have to do to create a tag, click Create New Tag. You can add inside the tag name that you want to utilize and even put inside a different color to color coordinate everything. All right, then of course you can also add inside your neighborhoods. All right, so under the neighborhood section on here, all you have to do is click the add neighborhoods up here. All right, but then you can actually add inside the different neighborhoods that you want to work with them. All right, and then you can even configure the landing page and preview it too. So if I click on add neighborhoods up here, I'll allow this real quick so it can actually pop up or it's not going to. So let me go ahead and search on here and see if it'll pop up for me. Let me do Orlando, Florida. There we go. And I'll go off of this. Awesome. All right, so I'll go over in this particular area that I know pretty well. Here we go. All right, so let's say Baldwin Park, for instance. So I can click on that. I can click on another one as well to add these in. All right, so this will help out tremendously where you can just click on it to add it in right away for you. All right, so if I want to add inside these six, I can click the next option on here. All right, then I can actually put inside different landing pages that I can utilize for this too. All right, so if I want to add inside neighborhoods and then add in the landing page as well for like the Kelly Snap type stuff, all right, you can too. All right, so I'll click the next option on these real quick though. All right, just so I'll actually add that in. Now, once again, then I can go through and I can configure this at any time. It's taking me back to the home page right now. Hopefully that'll update in a second. All right, but I can go through and I can configure it to update it even further. Come on, let's go back to settings. There we go. I think I may have just messed it up. All right, perfect. All right, and then I can even make different landing pages for it as well, once again, based on like those Kelly snaps. And of course, you can always change the name or you can delete it as well. All right. Then, of course, you can also do your import logs. If you ever happen to import any type of, you know, database on here, you can see when it was started, when it completed, 
how many contacts were imported, how many failed. It'll have the original file and then even the error file for you to take a look at too. Now, one of the big items on here though is the marketing profile. All right, so this is relatively new. All right, I just noticed it this morning, actually. It looks like it just launched. So the marketing profile will help you create marketing content easier and faster. All right, check what do you want to include in the marketing profile template and reuse, sorry, reuse on different materials. Data is automatically taken from your profile, but you can edit any option needed. All right, this won't affect and change your regular profile information. So what they're saying is this data over here is automatically going to come from that KDB Connect profile. All right, but then you can actually go through and tweak this even further if there's anything that you want to display instead on your marketing pieces. All right, because you might have certain items you want to display on KDB Connect for other agents to contact you. All right, so maybe you want to put on your own email address on there, your own phone number. But then for the marketing pieces, you might have, you know, a team email or a team phone number to add in. All right, so on here, you can actually update your name, obviously your license number, team info, credentials or designations, your bio too. You can add inside your phone number, office, fax, email, your website. All right, you can even add inside a DBA logo, your market center info. All right, a legal footer if you need to. Social media options. All right, even your branded app logo, or not branded app logo, branded app URL on here. All right, and once that's completed, you can just click the save option on here and it'll save everything immediately. Now for the photo and for the team logo on here, they do recommend the size of 360 by 360. All right, so in this case, it needs to be a square. All right, so since it's going to fit inside a circle on here, you definitely want to make sure that's a square option. All right, so this will help out tremendously just to update your marketing profile. So whenever you start to utilize Sketch House or even some of the campaigns that are coming out, all right, then you'll be able to access that immediately. All right, even I'm having trouble <laughs> searching around here. So then you have the email campaigns too. All right, so that is where you can actually access all of your settings on here and how you can update that even further. So there you go. So that is your KDB command tip for the day.